Dear students, we were discussing the insert ribbon in Microsoft Word and we have already discussed the page group and today we will start the table group in insert group. So in the table group of insert ribbon, uh, these are the topics which will be covered in this module. Insert table, draw table, convert text to table, excel spreadsheet and quick tables. So in your Word document, you can insert tables wherever you want to show the data in an organized form. So let's start the practical. So I have opened blank Microsoft Word document and I have reached to the insert ribbon. So this was what we have already done in the previous module and today we will be discussing the table group in insert ribbon. So here are different options like you can insert tables, draw tables, you can paste Excel spreadsheets within your document and there are different quick tables available. So for example, if you want to insert a table in your document, so you have cursor over here and then you click on this insert table, it is asking that how many columns you want and how many rows you want. So for example, if I say I need three columns and two rows and I'm not at the moment concerned with the width of each column and row. So as soon as I click, I have a table right now which has three columns and which has two rows. So this means you can enter data in it. For example, you say this is for student registration number. This is for student name and marks. So I say the, the registration number is 1, 2, 3, student name is Ali and his marks are 90. If you want to add a new row, one quick way is going at the end of the row and then pressing uh, the enter. So as soon as you press enter key uh, by reaching at the end of the row, so a new row is generated and you can enter further records in this table. For example, Ahmad and the marks are 80. So this is how we can insert tables wherever we want in the document. And there is another option of draw table. So if you are somewhere in your document, for example, I click Ctrl Z to move to the basic document and you click on this and then you say, okay, I need a table over here. So this table has been created, which has only one row and one column. So this means wherever you want to create the table, you can create it with this option. And then if you right click on this, then there are number of other options available that can be used with the tables. For example, the text direction, you want to add some caption, you want to see the properties of the table. So there are number of things which you can try to practice at home. Then the next thing in tables is convert text to table. So if you have already some text available in your document, for example, you have written Ali, Ahmad, 90, for example, something like this, and you want quickly convert this text into a table. So go over here, click on this, and it's asking that do you need one column? No, I need three columns. And it has added all of the things in first uh, cell and other cells are blank. So let's try to do in a way that Ali should be entered in the first cell, Ahmad should be entered in the second and 90 should be entered in the last. So in this case, what you need, you need to put a tab 
and then let's see if it is possible. So now it's asking, okay, three table, yes. So now it has recognized that whenever the Microsoft Word has found the tab between the tags, so tab delimited next text has been shifted to the next cell. So we had two tabs, so there are three columns now. So there was one tab after Ali, and Ahmad has been shifted to the next cell and then there was another tab after Ahmad that's why 90 has been shifted to the next cell and then there is another option you can add the whole excel spreadsheet in your document so go over here click on this so it will add the excel spreadsheet in your document so in this sheet, you will find the whole uh, Microsoft Excel object and you can add, delete, whatever you want in this Excel sheet. And when you will save uh, this document, this Excel sheet will be saved within your Word document. And of course, it will be managed by the Microsoft Excel. So here is only the reference of this Microsoft Excel object. So going back to the basic again. And then there is a last option in tables that is known as quick tables. So there are different tables uh, templates available. So for example, if you want to make a table like this, you can select this. Then for example, this could be another way of making the tables this could be another way so you can see that whatever suits you you can add that kind of table in your document quickly from here so for example if you are interested in this so we have selected this and uh, the table has appeared with all of the required formatting and you can change whatever you want in this for example i said this is not the college we are interested in the university uh, this is not the new student this could be another column and so on so whatever you want you can change in this table but you have seen that some of the functionality which is already uh, available in the microsoft world in the form of quick tables that is available and you can just use that functionality to make interesting tables and this means that you can also uh, make your own tables which are similar to these by going into the table and then for example as i have said that if you go over here and then right click on this so then you have table properties over here so you can uh, make similar kind of tables which have appealing uh, sense and attractive content which looks very good to show in your document so uh, let's conclude our today's topic we have learned about insert table about draw table convert text to table excel spreadsheet and quick tables so this was the table group in insert ribbon and in next module we will start the next group of insert ribbon.